Hey guys, how's it going? It's me again. Just made a little video yesterday about a little Costco haul that I came up on for uh, adding to my preps. And uh, I did make a claim in that video that uh, I don't quite consider myself um, a somewhat of a prepper. Um, I'm a full-on prepper. And uh, I did say that I would prove it. So uh, I'm sort of here to prove it, but also more really to just um, get involved in having some sort of a uh, prepper channel, um, among other things, but mostly for prepping right now, just because I really feel that it's an important thing for people to uh, get started on. And, um, you know, everyone who was doing prepping before this uh, whole C virus thing uh, was considered crazy or a little extreme or whatever. And, you know, at this point, it's not quite like that anymore, is it? Um, I don't think anyone really needs to go to an extreme. Some people make it a lifestyle. Some people um, are realizing the benefits of having some sort of preparations, whether it's just for short term, long term, whether it's the far end of the spectrum of, you know, anything can happen or maybe just to get yourself through a few weeks of um, lockdowns and having to deal with maybe not wanting to leave your house and having enough of the stuff you need. So uh, anyways, I got my light on ready because uh, it gets dark in there, but uh, I haven't been in here for a couple weeks, and um, I do need to add some of the new stuff um, that was in yesterday's video um, in here just to put away and for safekeepings. Um, I did get some baking soda finally because that's good to have around. I got a little bit of um, something in there to add, so uh, let's go see what's in here and check it out. All right. That down and uh, let's check the goods, people. Booyah! We got a we got a few things in here. We got a nice little stash of uh, canned goods because those last a lot longer than people really know that they do. Uh, been adding to this stuff here for. This is mostly recent ads, but I've been adding to this little collection here for quite some time. Yeah, we got a little bit of water in there because we're in Southern California and we don't drink tap water down here. At least you're not supposed to. Um, it's a little disorganized, but I mean, I'm kind of limited on space, so there's only so much I've got, but we'll just do some entry level um, showing you around here. This is um, stuff I've been buying from the grocery store your high um, density, uh, high calorie density foods. Um, a lot of pasta, um, stuff to keep you occupied and keep the mind fresh. So we got a little bit of candy in there and we got some fruit snacks. We got some protein powder, um, big old backup of um, Himalayan salt cause you gotta have salt. And uh, we've got a couple ammo cans never know when you're gonna need a double bass pedal for in case your drums break. But you know, we got a couple of the staples like the spams and like I said, lots of canned goods, guys. Canned goods, expiration dates last years if they're stored properly uh, past their, their sell-by date. Um, remember, keep in mind, that is a sell-by date that you're looking at in the store. And um, if you keep them in a cool, dry place, they will literally last a long time. We've got a little bit of um, long-term food storage. We got some short, medium, and long-term in here. Um, there's quite a bit of it. It's uh, too hard to get to, to unpack. We've got a few of the wise foods, you know, the um, the 20 year shelf life stuff. Um, we got some gel uh, camping lighters in case you need to cook your stuff. Um, tons of water. There's, it just goes back pretty far. These, um, these tubs are all full of, I believe they're full of mostly, um, well, let's get in there and see. Oh yeah, this bad boy. This is a 660 pound safe. There's some goodies in there, but we won't show those until another date. And um, I'm gonna prepare some of the stuff and give you a, a good look. I'll be right back. I'll take a look at some of these blue bins and show 
some of the stuff we've been saving, well, that's just a nice little box of good healthy stuff, guys. Got some beef snacks, a whole bunch of rice, uh, some almonds, all nutrient-dense food as, as much as we can get. That is some honeycomb. That's really, really good. Honey's got a good burst of energy, one teaspoon, tablespoonful of that, and uh, that's instant energy on the go. That's good stuff to have. In this box here, we've got some long-term storage foods. This is, um, gosh, I don't even know, but I guess eFoods Gold. I don't know. Got some granola. Um, oh, tortilla soup. Wonderful. Um, I'm big on MREs, guys. I'll tell you what. Here's the thing about MREs. They don't really taste good. That's not the point of having them. It's just the fact that they last for so long. Um, and if you keep them, again, in a cold, uh, dry place in storage, uh, they'll last for for years, maybe maybe even decades. I've heard stories about people finding World War II MREs that were still edible. So um, definitely, you know, for about five, six bucks a package, these can go a long way. Uh, they're good for barter as well. And um, they're, they've got a lot of calories. Um, unfortunately, they've got a lot of sodium too, but I mean, you, you certainly wouldn't want to, wouldn't want to survive on these. They'll give you the runs if you <laughs> eat them too much, but they're good on the go. And like I said, they're good for trade and barter. And we've got um, a lot of them. Like I said, all these bins here are full of MREs, basically. I've been buying MREs for a very long time and uh, just storing them and putting them away. Um, there is a decent variety. I mean, you know, if military relies on it, I'm sure we could too in emergency situations. Um, another thing that I want to take a look at here with you guys, sorry for the filming. I brought my camera, but it didn't have any batteries in it, so my battery wasn't charged. That was a goof on me. It's always good to have things. You know, you go to these dollar stores, you can get a lot of good deals on stuff. I mean, what good does it do you to have all of this canned food if you can't open it. I'm sure you know you can do it with a knife and stuff, but you gotta have the um, the tradables and the essentials. So you gotta have a little bit of cooking oil too if you're gonna boil rice and stuff. You can get a lot of good deals at the dollar store. You guys, I got a pair of handy dandy gloves. These were 99 cents, great deal. Coffee filters, um, 99 cents. 99 cents store is just a gold mine, you guys. It's always good to have extra toothbrushes. Um, Get yourself a little bit of rope. Many uses for rope. And uh, zip ties too. Zip ties are always good. You gotta have stuff to keep stuff lit. Yeah, there's a gold mine of stuff in here, guys. We'll go through some of that maybe on another video, but um, it's always good to diversify all of your preps in case you just need it. I mean, imagine having a store not be open anymore. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna get what you need when you can't just go get what you need. Um, I mean, we live in a world of convenience and we're used to um, just being able to go get what we need whenever we want. And there may come a day when that's not the case. Uh, certainly not fear mongering or anything, just being aware, being prepped. Um, you know, all this stuff costs money. Um, this isn't something that you just go get all this stuff overnight. This is something I've been doing for years, preparing for what I believe is the inevitable in some way, shape, or form. Ultimately, worst case situation would be some sort of lights out, power out situation. Then, you know, in places like Southern California where we live, you're in a world of hurt. You're dealing with a lot of people in a very small area. Um, we're dependent on our power grid more than you care to think about on an average um, thought process basis. Uh, we really are at the mercy of the trucking companies and the uh, energy outputs that we have in our home, you know, gas, electric, um, running water, all that stuff. So good to have you guys, good to have, good to be repaired. Um, just here to inspire anybody who can just maybe start a little bit at a time. So um, I hope you guys get a chance to see this video. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel. Uh, give me a recommendation to someone you think might be interested in. Uh, put any comments you like, whether positive or negative, and um, I'll try to get back to some of those. And um, y'all just be peaceful out there, love each other, and just ride out the storm together. So um, have a good one. Well, here's one more fun thing to look at. You know, it's good to have preps and everything, but um, you kind of have to have some stuff that's ready to, to
just grab and go. So um, me and one of the kids one day, we kind of opened up a bunch of um, MREs and we kind of broke them down and um, put them in a suitcase. You got everything from your little packs of peanut butter to your um, spoons to the little heaters that you just add water to so you can he actually heat the food. And um, it's just as, uh, you know, if I had to come in here and grab one thing, it would probably be this bag because there's literally thousands and thousands of calories in this bag. Everything from little desserts that come in the MREs to, like I said, the food warmers and the, um, the little side packages, you know, um, little fun things, little snack things to eat. These are like what the entrees look like. These are the ones that you just put this whole bag inside the pouch and add a little bit of water to the heating packets and they heat your food for you. And you get your little napkins and your gum, which is <laughs> terrible by the way, um, and your coffee creamers and your matches and your um, all your little things. These are these are all good things to have, guys. These are all. Um, this is all a blessing to be able to have all this kind of stuff, and it's not just about prepping for myself and my family. It's about helping out people who may be in need because um, we have plenty, and this is quite a bounty. And I'm more than willing to share with um, those that I know and love to make sure that um, everybody has their food and water. Basic essentials, guys. We have no idea what it's like. Um, having these first world problems can be taken away from us real quick. And when you don't have your basic needs, food and water, a little bit of cleanliness, uh, things can fall apart pretty quickly. So uh, thank you, Lord, for all these blessings. And um, hopefully we're inspiring people to start prepping just a little bit at a time, guys. None of this came overnight. This was all every trip I go to the store. I get a little something extra and get a good little stash and bring it down here and hope that I never have to use it.